Hi guys and welcome to my video on beating the blues of daylight savings time. I'm going to show you my tips and tricks on what I use during this period of time just to help me get through it because it's a very depressing time for most people. So here we go. So the first and most important thing that I do is turn on my happy light. There's two settings, both high and low. I always turn it on high and it's fantastic. It helps produce serotonin levels which boosts your mood and makes you happier. And that also helps with sleep at night, which is incredible. So I live for it. I use it every single day while I'm brushing my teeth and I'm getting ready. You can order it online, on Amazon, anywhere. So just look up Happy Light and you will love it, I promise. The next thing, I'm always sipping on lemon water. It aids digestion. It's good for your skin. It's very nice. I enjoy it and I keep it in the bathroom with me so that I visually see it and that makes me drink more of it. So that's just the reasoning that I bring it in with me. The next thing is I go on Spotify and I get some fun playlists going just to kind of boost my mood and I dance around and it just creates a good and fun environment. So I love that and I do that every morning. The next thing I always do when I brush my teeth is just play music and dance around or lunge or do random squats and just try to get as much exercise as I can while I'm brushing my teeth because I find that the most boring thing you could possibly do. So I just try to spice it up so that is what I'm doing in there. So I look like a complete weirdo, but I love it. And that helps and it makes me feel better in the morning as well. So since I don't consume a lot of fish in my diet, I do take a supplement which I find helps tremendously. Uh, just omega-3 fatty acids really does make a difference with the depression, especially in this season. In Iceland, even though it's really dark, uh, fun fact, they actually have one of the lowest rates of seasonal depression, which is really neat. And it's believed because they consume so much fish, which is omega-3 fatty acids in their diet. And that helps a lot. So I've implemented at least three to five pills a day. And I find it works so well and it's really good for your skin. And it just helps everything else and I find a huge difference. So I definitely recommend taking that. Ah, these are the best. 5-HTP I use all year round. They're fantastic and it's a great quick fix when you are feeling like anxious and depressed. So I actually take them when nothing else is working or I don't feel motivated or I don't feel like myself and I'm just so blah, which is exactly what seasonal depression is. And I take one and then if I find it doesn't work, then I just continue to take it. Sometimes for different people, you have to take three a day and it does take a few days to kick in. But I think because I've taken them for so long, it's just kind of in my system. But if you have never tried these, I really, really recommend them. They are a natural product and you can get them on Amazon at a health food store. And they're relatively inexpensive, which is amazing. And they are fantastic. So definitely get that if you're struggling. I decided to include iron in this video because I wanted you to check on your deficiencies. Me, for example, I'm anemic, so I have low iron, so I have to take supplements. So if I forget to take my iron, it actually causes depression. So depression is one of the symptoms of low iron. So just keep in mind of what your body is doing and what you're feeling. If you're bruising everywhere, you might be in low in iron or you might notice other things. So just watch those things very carefully because other things could be causing you depression and it could be a quick fix like taking an iron pill. So I just wanted to clue that in the video as well. And since the sunlight is very limited this time of year, I do take a vitamin D supplement. I find it really helps and my naturopath told me to take 7,000 IU every day, which is a lot. I do take a lot less in the summertime but you just need that boost when there's no sun. So cross your fingers that there's sunshine coming your way, but until then, pop some vitamin D. So in order to keep my hormones balanced and also my mood, I try to use natural products. So this is just an example of the deodorant that I use during the winter time. It's a pomegranate flavored and it's all natural. It has no aluminum and none of the bad stuff. So it's fantastic, it works really great. I work out in this stuff all the time, so I like live by it. Um, and it's just like a little ball that you roll on. It smells fantastic. It is 24 hours, it says on the bottle. I reapply after I work out. But just keep in mind to not put extra chemicals and hormones and things into your body when you're already struggling with depression because that doesn't make it any better. So I just wanted to include that in the video as well. And my next tip is self-care because when you feel good, it helps so much with depression. So I like to moisturize my face, I like to take baths, I like to do face masks, I just like to live my best life. So I just did a face oil and that's what you see in the video and I'm just putting that everywhere, especially my neck because I don't want my neck wrinkly when I'm older. Um, but 
Anyways, definitely focus on self-care because it's so, so important. And with self-care, that also includes getting ready. That is so important. I have worked in mental health for quite a few years now, and I always tell people to get dressed, put makeup on, feel good, because that will get you out of the house. If you shower, if you put makeup on, if you do get dressed, all of those things make a huge difference because you want to get out of bed. If you just stay in bed or stay in your pajamas, you're more likely to just stay in the house and not want to do anything, and that in itself causes depression. So I really recommend just getting ready. Even if you don't have plans to leave the house for any reason, if you get ready, then maybe you will. Maybe you'll want to walk somewhere or go out with a friend and get a coffee. And I just encourage everybody to do that because the more you get out, the better it'll be because it's so easy to just stay in and watch Netflix and be comfy in your pajamas. It just, even though it sounds good, it's also bad in theory when it's always dark and you get home. So Try your best to get out of the house and keep makeup on and stuff like that. Sounds kind of odd, but it definitely helps me. So that is what I do. Okay, guys, so that concludes the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every Sunday and Wednesday now. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you have a great winter.